Welcome to K9 Boxing. We're about to take a look at the great sparring session I had with the famous Hall of Famer, Hector Camacho. Cornelius K9 Bundridge, 14 and 0 with seven knockouts. Look at me, y'all. I'm cut up like what up. Sparring the legend. That's right, the legend. Hector Macho Camacho. And I'm excited. Round one, 2002. 18 years ago. And I'm in there with the legend, y'all. Yes, indeed. And they just did a documentary on Hector Camacho on Showtime a few weeks ago. And I'm in there just trying to work. I'm trying to get that work. I need all the experience I can get going up the ladder. And what better way to get experience than to be in there with the legend himself, Hector Camacho. That's right. And right now I'm having my way in round one. Now I know the people on the side are looking like, dang, look at K-9. And Hector just let me work probably in round one. Who knows? And he has a fight coming up in a few weeks. So I'm preparing him for a strong guy. And that's why they want to spar with me. Just to get ready for that strong guy. So it's just the first round. So Hector trying to get loose. And I'm staying on him. Because I don't want him to get loose. He's a thinking fighter. If you give a fighter that's a thinking fighter time to think, he can pick you apart. So I'm staying on him like a K9 t shirt. That's right. A little holding and hitting. I'm glad he didn't throw that one too. So you can tell he's not in the best of shape. I done threw, oh, you ever saw that before? I threw like four uppercuts to the stomach. Oh, good jab by Hector Camacho. I'm going to get credit where credit is due. But you notice I'm not giving him no room to breathe. Good body shot. And my coach is Sugar Hill, who's training Tyson Fury at the time right now. And I was his first pro fighter ever. And Hector, look, he's trying to set me up, and I'm not going to fall for it. I know he's saying to himself, man, this dude is strong and awkward, so he really can't time me. He want to, but I'm not allowing him to. And my trainer, Sugar Hill, is telling me, one, two, one, two. But it's easier said than done when you're in there with a legend. He know the one, two is coming. And he can hear my trainer say one, two, so he know it's coming. And that's the end of round one. Round two. Me in there with the legend. Good double jab right hand. You know a right hand is the equalizer to a southpaw. But Hector Camacho has great defense. And he's not going to allow me to hit him with that hard right hand. The one I knocked Curry Spinks out with. <laughs> no. Nah. Because he's the legend. Good movement from Hector Camacho. So he's trying to get his legs strong. He's trying to set something up. And we already know that I'm the stronger man in there. We had to come out here right now. So he's not trying to fight my fight, which is to bang. So he's actually boxing. That's why he's moving around, pity patting, seeing what he can see, and making sure he don't get caught with no bomb from me. And me, I'm really just trying to work, really. I'm just happy to be in there with him. I mean, who all can say that they sparred with Hector Camacho? Who all can say they sparred with Tommy Hearns? And the list goes on. So this is great experience for me. And I was happy to be in there with him. And we have a lot of great trainers on the background, which is Lee. We have Bam right there in the yellow right next to him. We have the great Walt, Walter Smith, who trained Emmanuel Stewart. So, 
It's a lot of legends and great trainers. Good right hand. Good right hand again. Double right hand. Triple right hand. But this ain't nothing. Hector done saw it all. He done saw it all. Like I said, he's just trying to get some work to prepare for his fight. And, of course, the work that he got prepared him, and he stopped his opponent the next fight in nine rounds. Good work. Hector Camacho. It's macho time. That's right. In round two. So he got a whole bunch of guys that's trying to help him. But, you know, he has never been in a one in a ring with a guy like myself. Strong and as they would say, awkward. Now, awkward is good when you're winning. Because eventually I ended up becoming a two-time world champion. So Aqua turned out to be good. And, and thanks to guys like him, Hector Camacho, for giving me all the sparring he gave me. Gave me experience and knowledge. With me only having 10 amateur fights, I needed to get in there with somebody like him. He gave me a lot of experience. See how I missed him? Overhand right, you know why? Because he has a lot of experience. He knows to get out of the way of shots. He's looking good. I mean, he's looking real good. Because you got to remember, I'm a lot younger than him. So, you know, it was good work. You can say what you want to say. That's still the legend. So you can't look good against legends all the time. And if you do look good against a legend, you ain't going to knock him out. Especially with 16-ounce gloves on. Well, that's Sugar Hill. Emmanuel Stewart nephew, like I say, he's training Tyson Fury right now. And I was his first pro and his first world champion. And that's Mike Wiggins. You see him smiling with the black hat on. He's like, man, kid, not looking good. He probably didn't think I was going to look that good at first. That's why he, he was off the off the ring post. And he stepped up when I started looking good. So nobody knew what's going to happen in this sparring session. And no disrespect to Hector Camacho because he's a legend. So, you know, I, lots of guys that look good against Hector Camacho and Tommy Hearns. But when you take that hair gear off and put them little gloves on, it's a different ball game. So this is the last round for me and the legend. So we're going to definitely pick it up a little bit more. And it looks like Hector being a little more aggressive. And I love it. <laughs> I love it. Oh, now you're back to boxing. So yeah, I have to be the dog and chase the cat. <laughs> That's right. And the cat is moving. Good hooks. But I missed hard to hit them legends man they know what to do they know how to survive they know how to hold they know how to hit they know how to do everything and he ain't in the hall of fame for nothing but once again i'm on him like a k9 t-shirt i'm on him and he's just moving and, you, and for y'all that don't know holding is a part of boxing but guys getting off on you hold him and he got the little ali tactics you see how he hold me putting his putting his head hand behind the back of my head Hold my head down. I think he got that from Ali. See, his trainer turning him to go the other way. Go the other way. Look, my trainer mad because I can't catch up with him. But he a legend. You mean catch up with him and get caught with something? I got to be careful at all times. He ain't throwing no bombs or nothing, but at any time, he could do me like he did Sugar Ray Leonard. <laughs> right. And I bet we had to come out when they fought. And I won. And rest in peace to Levant Williams, who I won against. My first trainer. Oh, you hear him cussing me out? I have no boop, idea. Sugar Hill said it about me because he mad because I can't finish the champ. The champ of beast. That's Hector Camacho. I picked it up, but as soon as I picked it up, what'd he do? Smart tactics. He held me. Yep. Once again, hand the hand behind the head like Muhammad Ali. Oh, man. See how slick he is? I was on the ropes. I had him on the ropes. He turned me on the ropes. But now I'm getting upset. Let me start trying to bully him because nothing's starting to work now. Now I'm just saying forget it. All out. Bang out. Once again, that hand behind the head. Oh, and he hit me behind the head. Oh, what's finna get rough now? Oh, yeah. With 30 seconds left, it's about to get rough now. He done pissed me off. And he don't care. <laughs> he don't care because Hector a street dude y'all might not know that he a street dude so he don't mind and he was in there cussing at me and everything calling me punks 
the N word. You know what I'm saying? He's just a funny guy. Out of respect, though, you know, he just, he know I'm from the hood, too. But it was good work. Look at us. Uh, last few seconds. Let me knock his head gear off. He's still holding ropes and holding me. About to head bump me and everything. And there you go. Talking slick again. Ah, <laughs> my man. Oh, man. Fun times at the original Crunk Gym. Yes. Tomas and I was on steroids. <laughs> yeah. Never, though. You hear me? Never used drugs in my life. So I appreciate that, man. Appreciate you, Hector Camacho. Rest in peace. God is good, man. Long live the legend. They just did a um, documentary on him on Showtime, too, y'all. Man, what a beast. A dog. The first pay-per-view guy ever at a smaller weight class on HBO. Head to Camacho. It's macho time. That's right. It's macho time forever. I hope y'all enjoyed the video, y'all. Yes, indeed. At K9 Boxing. Dogs are us. Yes, indeed. Always macho time. Rest in peace to the legend. At K9 Boxing. 